Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the screen cards because apparently they got a recent upgrade to specific stats. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at each card to see which ones would be worth using and which ones are just going to be uh, very generic. I think there's actually going to be a few cards here that actually might be very good to use, uh, but a few of them are probably not going to be uh, because they're probably going to be missing a few stats here and there. So we're on Foothead right now. I wish there was like a, a better way of, at looking at these cards, but I think Foothead's the only one that has them like as a list like this. So the first one we're going to be looking at is Sergio Busquets. Uh, Sergio Busquets right off the bat is going to be a very decent card. His acceleration and sprint speed uh, will outbalance his agility and balance, right? Because his agility and balance is really low, but he, he does have the acceleration and sprint speed. Uh, he's very good at passing on the ball. Composure is very good. He's got a uh, very significant stat increases in defending. He has 68 heading and 66 jumping, but he is six foot two, so that can be taken into consideration. A uh, six foot two player with 87 interceptions could be very good as well. Um, to be fair to EA, I think this promo is pretty decent. Now I know that some people are gonna say like, I know that it's been like three months since they've upgraded the cards, but they upgraded the cards in areas that were good to upgrade because even before when they left the upgrades as it was, they still had pretty good cards, uh, card stats, right? So they have some, uh, some pretty good cards here, right? But three star, three star, medium, medium. It's not a bad card. It, this is a definitely a usable card for sure. Uh, next card we have here is Verati. Verati will be more of a fun type concept than a good type concept because he does have the shooting, passing, and dribbling, but the other stats that are more important than those being higher uh, aren't that high. But he'll play he'll play okay for you. It's Again, it's more of a fun concept of a card, not really a card that you should use. Uh, Medium-high work rates, 5'5", five 4-star, five, 4-star, star, four star, right? He's got some pretty cool things here and there um, to make him usable, but not really a card I would use myself. Uh, next card we have here. I can't go back. There we go is Coca here. So Coca has 93 pace, 93 dribbling, 75 shooting, 88 passing. So his finishing is 72, which is already far too low, but he does have 88 composure. Uh, so he does have the good weak foot. So if you play on the left side, he can shoot a cross goal, although it won't be that great because he does have 72 finishing. Uh, 72 finishing in this FIFA is not ideal because the finishing is very inconsistent. So if you take the shot with his right, his left foot, it might not be that good. Maybe if they change their finishing mechanics where the easier opportunities um, are very effective in terms of going into the back of the net. Because like back in the day, if you played FIFA 15, there was an overpowered way of scoring, which was, well, you had to get 1v1, right? Uh, you would just get at an angle against the goalkeeper and just tap shoot, and it would be in, it would go into the back of the net pretty much every time. Um, and to be honest, I liked that because that, made me, uh, that allowed me to use different cards and nobody would miss because... Uh, you didn't need like crazy finishing for you to score those opportunities. So I always felt like the one v ones should be the easiest thing to do when you're when you're on good angles, um, no matter the player, because it's just it's just fun that way, right? Uh, to use different players, even if I'm using like Fakir and, I'm, and I want to do a regular finesse with his right foot, uh, you should be able to do that at some point. I think I think being able to increase the weak foot. Like, if you're at a 3-star and you want to increase it to a 4-star, it wouldn't necessarily be a nuisance. I think it would be a cool thing if EA were to add that as you uh, played more games with the card. But, uh, yeah, this card this card looks okay. His work rates are even good, too, with high, high work rates. It's more just the um, the finishing that's a little bit poor. Uh, next card we have here is Costa. So, Costa will be the physical type player. So, if you guys want to cross the ball, um, he's going to do really, really well at that, right? Because uh, he's six foot two, but he doesn't have the jumping. Like he has like the physical presence in the air and that eighty two heading to get the ball. Uh, he's not going to be crazy in the air, but his his player his card is going to be based off of uh, a physical presence, right? Ninety one acceleration, ninety four sprint speed, but has seventy agility, sixty four balance. So you'll notice the dribbling not being that great. Eighty seven finishing, eighty three shot power. Um, not a card I would use personally, but finishing wise, he could be very consistent because of the ninety nine composure. Uh, not really sure how much that's going to influence the player that much. Anything else we got here? We got Pep, so 68 pace on Pep is not that high, but for a Super League player, uh, he has some pretty decent defending and physical stats to make him a pretty decent player in that regard. Mandzukic, 
Uh, Manzukic, they did not increase the pace, but he's going to be like a heading god, basically, right? He's six foot three with 85 jumping, 91 heading. So going for headers, he's going to do really good at that, but that's pretty much it. 70 pace is not really that high, so don't expect him uh, to run in behind a defense. Bastos, I think they increased his pace, uh, but he still has really poor agility and balance, so the pace increase doesn't really matter that much. Um... He has 57 jumping. They didn't increase his jumping because he's already six foot uh, six foot five with 94 heading. He does score most of his goals in real life uh, by heading the ball. He has 81 composure, 87 finishing with a three star weak foot. So again, more of a fun concept if you are a sporting fan and stuff. Maybe from um, the Netherlands. Balotelli, I think, will have a pretty good card. I think he'll be pretty decent. Uh, he does have poor agility and balance, right? But he's in in game. His physicality will be very nice with eighty six strength because he is six foot two with a pretty stockish in game uh, stature. Right? He has eighty one composure, eighty five finishing with a four star weak foot, four star skill moves with eighty nine shot power. Uh, big increase on the acceleration and sprint speed. So he'll probably play uh, really well in that regard too. Let's see what else we got here. Forsberg is generic. Shakiri. Forsberg, uh, Forsberg, they might have they might have increased Forsberg cards. Check. 73 pace. Okay, so he'll he'll be okay. 73 pace is too low, but he does have physical dribbling, shooting, and passing. So he could be a fun card to use, not necessarily an ideal one, because 73 is still very low. Shakiri with the 93 with the 93 pace. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna open the link of the new tab. Um, he has, still has 71 finishing, but he's pretty much good in everything else in regards to uh, his features, right? So he's a small player, but he has the agility, balance, blah, blah, blah. It's just the finishing being low that could be a nuisance with this card. Uh, Schweinsteiger is a card a lot of people might do because he's one of the best center mids for the MLS, right? There's not really that many uh, good MLS players, so a good card to look into as well. 93 pace, 93 shooting. He has very good stats. His defending stats and physical stats aren't up there, but for an MLS player, uh, definitely worth looking into. 71 pace and Chalanaglu. Blint has 57. Kalu might have poor shooting as well. Okay, so he has the finishing, but he doesn't have the shot power because I know that he has at least the four-star skill moves. Doesn't have the four-star weak foot, which sucks, uh, but he does have 81 composure, so not a bad card as well. Fellaini, Mascherano doesn't matter. Fellaini is a good upgrade too. Someone who is medium, medium work rate, six foot four, who might be playing as your CDM. You know, he doesn't have crazy defensive stats, but he is a tall guy. Six foot four is very helpful uh, to win the ball in the air most of the times. Eighty four acceleration, ninety nine sprint speed, has good shooting stats. I think that's what they actually upgraded recently. Uh, ninety four finishing with seventy six composure. You know, if you're using him as a, as a as a CDM, he actually could be okay. Um, I was looking at the top goal score for the Liga Noj here. And I lost... Oh, okay. I didn't open up the new link here. Go back right here. There we go. Rafinha, not really worth looking into. Dini has, probably has poor shooting, but he's probably going to be the physical type player. And then the rest of these players, not really worth looking into. So, in regards to the players that you see here, I think the ones that are worth doing would be... Or not doing, because it's not an SBC. The ones that would be worth looking into would be Sergio Busquets, because... He has some pretty good stats for being a Barcelona player, right? So a good midfielder or a good CDM uh, to play in that general position. Because having good passing stats for your CDM is like an underrated thing to want. Uh, but he also has like really good composure, good defensive stats. Yeah, his heading is not crazy, but he is six foot two. You don't necessarily need the heading, although it's also it's very important to have. It's more about just winning the ball in the air. That's uh, that's more vital. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have. Uh, Coca, but he has poor finishing, so I wouldn't look into that card. Pep, if you want to make a Super League team uh, to have a decent center back in the back. Schweinsteiger, if you're making the MLS team. Uh, Shakiri's not bad, but he has really poor shot power. Balotelli is probably one of the better ones in this entire thing, I would say. Uh, Kalu might be really decent, too, because he has some pretty significant stat increases. Fellaini's definitely worth looking into. Uh, the rest of these guys, Mings has the pace at the passing, still has low defending and physical. Ampadu is a center back that has no defensive stats, so that's 
interesting. It'd be like you don't use these cards in division rivals, right? Like these cards, I don't even know why these made these cards. I don't know anybody that's gonna be using these things. Caster, oh, Caster is Caster is a pretty good start, pretty good card. Seventy six pace, ninety three defending, ninety three physical. His transitioning left and right is gonna be decent, which is good. Defensive stats are good and physical stats are good. So yeah, this card's actually worth looking into too. Medium high work rates with ninety nine jumping, um, five eleven height. Yeah, this card would actually be worth looking into too. And he's a 78 rated. I don't know if that's marked correctly in the game, but he actually might be one of the better ones. It's probably him and Balotelli. These cards, Belgian player center back, not really, no one's going to really use those cards. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's in, pretty much in regards to which cards people are probably going to be using. But that is going to conclude the video for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Those are for the screen cards. Uh, some pretty good upgrades, but certain areas like Forsberg's pace is still kind of low. Uh, if you replace the pace with the physical, right, then that card's going to be really awesome. But other than that, that's pretty much going to do it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.